Hey, how's it going? Well, I saw A Wrinkle in Time, and it was just bad. It, it was really just god-awful. It almost... Not quite to the level of Never Ending Story too bad, but it was pretty fucking bad. It was... Reese Witherspoon's part was cringeworthy. I know she's trying to play a part of someone who... I mean, it was like she was playing an android or something. It just... It, uh, uh. It, there's, 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 there's a way to play ignorant and there's a way not to play ignorant. And she sure didn't play it well. It was just so bad. Calvin's part. Oh, God. Oh. It, there was no connection as to why... Like, why... It, it didn't give you any indication of why... Suddenly, Calvin wants to go with Meg. There, there's no particular... Oh, he, he was called to... No, and it just... Uh. Then they... they tesser... Tesser, or however you pr pronounce... However you say it, it has to do with a tesseract. You tesser, kind of teleport to this area. They don't teleport to somewhere useful, except that there are all these flower things there. Oh, why don't you show the flowers your picture? This little bitty picture is about this big. Show them your picture. They might know where your father is. Oh. God, it was so bad. Then there's this scene where they, they didn't even need to be in there. I mean, it was like it was like some of the special effects scenes in... Uh, in what's the first Star Wars? The Phantom Menace? Just... Just stuff thrown in there for no reason. So they're they're right. They one of the character Reese Witherspoon's character changes into this other creature that has this long leaf-like back that that flies by doing this sort of thing, right? Oh, and and now we're flying, and oh, now we can use the power of the whatever the tesseract or whatever to oh, and now we can we can start to fly. Oh no, one of them fell. Oh no, we have to do something. Calvin fell. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> oh, the flowers will catch him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, I don't know the source material. I don't know the original book. I never read the book. So I, I don't know what it's really supposed to be like. There were things that felt really, really forced about the... Uh, uh, it really, really felt like forced uh, diversity. It doesn't seem like it's a story that was that way originally. Really, really forced diversity to the point where it just it doesn't it doesn't flow right with the story. I don't know, man. A and the effects were okay. I won't even say that the effects were great because they were just okay. One section of the effects that I'll say were really good is this point where they they're in this. This evil land, this evil planet, this evil place, and all the trees start getting knocked down by this giant force. And, you know, the forest looked real, the trees being knocked down looked real, okay? That scene, the effects were very good. I have a feeling it was a different team doing those effects than doing than it was doing some of the other effects, but... Then there's these, these close-ups of... of People wearing, you know, oh, glittery makeup. Oh, come on now. Hi, my name is Splenda. Oh, I mean Oprah. I, I mean, I mean, yeah, Miss Witch. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was it was just so bad. I I I thought it would be at least a little better than that. You know, I thought it would be an average movie even though it had some bad reviews because I like some movies that have bad reviews but this was just this was just plain bad one out of five stars um, I know I've seen worse so it's not like I gave it a half a star but uh, it was bad I don't recommend watching it you know see it, it when it comes to a format that you can view for free or through some sort of subscri subscription service yeah watch it then don't don't spend your money in the theater seeing something like this it's it's it was just bad